Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel and another seven days to that video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it and hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to answer a question. I have quite a few people asking me and uh, hopefully this will kind of help you guys out and that's in how to go about getting and making guns. Guns are extremely important in this game. I'm mean, sure you can get by with some bow and arrows some crossbows and things like that, but there are going to be times when you just need a weapon. And in my personal experience, they're not all that easy to find. Things like the pistol, as you play you'll end up finding a lot of these. These aren't too uncommon. They're just use regular old 9mm ammo. That's not all that uncommon either. But the pistol is going to be the one you find and use the most. But it's also one of the weakest. And sometimes you might get lucky and find a sawed off shotgun. We haven't found too many of those in all the days of playing uh, with more recent updates. We just don't find those. But one of the first things you're going to have to have before you can start making your own guns is the schematic in order to be able to make these. Now each gun has its own schematic. And also, for the pistol, it has a book, and for the 44 Magnum, it has a magazine. So, most of the guns have just regular schematics like bl blueprints, but the pistols of the games have a magazine and a book, so those are a little bit different here. And to find these, basically, you're going to be looking in and around libraries. And not only libraries, because those are a little bit more hard to find, but when you go inside houses and you look upstairs or in some even buildings or whatever, you'll come across these bookcases. Be sure to check all these because that's a good place to find books and schematics for weapons too. Now, for every gun in the game, there's four major parts that you have to have to be able to assemble it. Of course, assuming that you've already found the schematic. Once you've found it, all you have to do is just click on Read. Now, something to keep in mind before you read it, if you happen to find a gun, say a pistol or whatever, or like an SMG laying around, you can equip it and use it, and you can scrap it. And if you scrap it, it will break it down and just give you scrap iron pieces. You don't have the opportunity to try and break it down to individual gun parts. So do keep that in mind that if you find one, you get ready to scrap it. If you hadn't already read the blueprint for it, then when you scrap it, all you're going to get scrap iron. But you go through and read it, and now you have all the knowledge you need to be able to break it down to individual pieces. As you can see, you can scrap it, you can assemble it to be able to upgrade pieces on it. Once you've actually read the schematic and you know how to create a weapon, you have to have four parts of every gun. You're going to have to have the basic stock for that weapon, you have to have a receiver, you're going to have to have a barrel, and you're going to have to have the parts for that weapon. Each one will have it. So it'll say shotgun parts, or rifle parts, AK-47 parts, whatever. It's going to say parts. And all these can be found just as easily as all the rest of them can. So ammo crates, if you happen to take down a zombie cop, chances are that you might have a chance to find either a complete weapon or pieces of it. One of the best places to find different kinds of gun pieces that you're going to need to put together is going to be at a Shotgun Messiah, and you can use it to get the Shotgun Messiah crates. And inside of those, that is where you have a good likely chance of finding gun parts or gun pieces that you need to put together. And as far as where it's at, if you're looking down on the map way down here, it's kind of in the bottom left-hand corner of it, in this burnt-out area, this is where I'm at on the map, and that's where one of the Shotgun Messiahs is that you can get to without a whole lot of grief. It's pretty caustic area so be careful getting in here and then once inside you'll see a bunch of these kinds of crates here you got to break through the outer area and then there's you know how many depends on what you find here and you'll see that there's pieces inside of it so you got long barrels hunting rifle barrels stocks so it's a good place to find and stock up on gun pieces once you have all the pieces here the easiest thing that you have to do is to click on any of the pieces and click on assemble and this is going to bring up a list of all the stuff that you possibly have to have to be able to make this. So if you click and drag the pieces over there, you'll see that it puts it in place. Now once you have everything there, you can click on complete and you will get the completed gun for it. Now its level and its rating will be based on how high your level is for that specific skill for gun creation, the quality of the parts that you actually put on there and whatnot. And so that's how you go about creating a gun. And it's the same way if you're going to do shotguns, rifles, pistols. They all have basically the same four kinds of components. So again, like with this, I have all four pieces of the AK-47. And I have read the book, uh, read the blueprint, so I know how to do it. So just click on the symbol. This will bring up the grid over here. Drag the receiver over there. Drag the parts over there. Drag the barrel over there. And now just click on complete. And now I have an assault rifle. So we're good to go. 
And one of the nicest things you can do once you actually have the schematic read and you have a weapon here is you can go through and actually upgrade it. So if you click on the weapon that you have and you click on where it says assemble, it's going to take you back to the same menu you had before. And so let's say this time you found a better quality stock you want to put on there. All you have to do is just click and drag the one off of there that you don't want, put the one that you do want, drag it back over there and click on complete. And now you have a more upgraded weapon. So by having the schematics, it really opens up what you can and can do. And of course, you can always keep your weapons growing and making them more stronger, more powerful, more durability, that sort of thing. And of course, if pieces get kind of broken, it's a good way to fix them too. So anyway, hopefully this helped you guys out. And if you have any questions about it, you know, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll happily answer them as quickly and as efficiently as I possibly can. And if you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit a thumbs up down there, the like button for me so I know you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for your time. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.